Hello and welcome to some dirt racing here. We are in the SRX and we are here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Kind of like a home track for me. Uh, home dirt track, I guess. Probably the closest one that's on uh, iRacing to me, if I had to guess. Here in Wheatland, Missouri. And uh, we are jumping up for some qualifying. <laughs> and um, I thought about starting at the back, but unfortunately I'm the number two somehow. Uh, we've got a single split. I'm only 2200 dirt oval I rating but still the number two I guess um, we've got Warren in here uh, who we know from league races and such so good to see him and uh, just looking at the safety ratings and stuff it seems like we've got some like safe drivers in here I mean we'll see how it turns out but uh, no, I'm gonna be optimistic a little bit I think that's fair I'm noticing a whole lot more grip out on track than there was earlier in the practice session. One more lap. Oh, we're driving it a little bit there. P2, you've just done a 17.4. Oh, and then we get a little bit over the lip, unfortunately. Just gonna slow us down. I'm like in third gear. I, I know I've heard Nick in his video say the fast guys are using fourth gear, but I just I cannot get that to work in the slightest. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Um, I took that all wrong, I think, that qualifying effort, but I'm not going to be very good. Definitely do not expect to do well. I'm just holding, hoping that I can hold my line and not run into anybody and get it to the end. Um, as I mentioned, single split and... Uh, Despite that, we got some seemingly good drivers in here, but we also have some like rookie racers, guys that are rookies in Dirt Oval, who uh, are able to join because your license for Oval is what depends whether you can join this, I, I think, something like that. Right now, P4 of 5. I'm not too surprised by that. Should I try the bottom? Because we've got more grip out here so maybe there is something like to the bottom I don't know about that I kept spinning in practice when I tried to go near the bottom so I don't know about all that yeah this is just gonna be tough it's gonna be real tough like I said I just want to try not to run into anybody Hopefully stop going over the lip there. There's like a little ridge uh, and on the exit, or not on the exit, but through the whole corner there, and uh, I guess that's one and two. And I keep putting my right rear over the edge and it slows me down a whole bunch, so I would like to stop doing that. Because I do it just about every lap. And it does cost some time, so... I think there's also the same thing in 3 and 4, but it's farther up from where I'm running, so it happens to me less. <laughs> I have no idea. But I've also noticed that the times really seem to fall off after you um, do some laps. So it might be worth it to try not to rev it up too much. Try to keep the tires from heating up. But, you see here, we qualify 4th and only 5 people qualified, and then 5 didn't seem to actually try, I don't think. Apologies if you did. <laughs> But that kind of looks like a time where uh, almost three seconds off where they're just trying to be ahead of the guys that don't qualify. So good luck to Warren and everybody. I'm nervous, but 50 laps here. Gonna just try to keep it smooth. We'll do session last lap to see how we're doing. Laps, the Everybody's field. ready. 16, 21 strength of field. I feel like you probably get a lot of guys that don't normally run dirt oval in here that probably are, you know, short track asphalt racers. Probably just uh, joining this to continue using the SRX. From what I understand, it seems the paved and dirt gets rotated back and forth. I guess it's more of a flip if it's between two. But back and forth it goes between the solid stuff and the dirt stuff. I'm gonna guess like second gear's dirt. Sure, that seems fine, I guess. 
Warren qualified pretty well. He's P2. Second fastest guy here. Get ready. Going green. I need to be able to see the leader. Right, Which I can't at already. all. I can't. He's totally my blind spot. I'm just gonna have to like watch Warren or something. Shoot. Yeah, single monitor is really hurting me here. Green, green, green. Car inside. All right, keep it smooth. Yeah. We got this. We will be okay. Inside. Still there. Inside. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the we got someone side. out inside. Clear inside. Have not run into him yet. That's good news. Three wide. Oh, three inside. wide. That's Two not bad. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Now the I overdrove it really bad. Oh boy. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear okay, we're okay. Inside. We're okay. We're okay. Whew. This is tough, man. I am not good at this at all, so I am just struggling to stay alive, really. I think we're clear now, though, so maybe I can just focus on trying to hit some good laps. I think I might be revving up the throttle a bit much, just out of adrenaline and fear. <laughs> so maybe uh, take, the, take it easy on that, just a wee bit. Although, having done that, got the guy behind me up to me. Inside, car stop down low. Uh, stop down low, Still and inside. the internet's going Clear. bad. I mentioned in a re uh, recent video, switched inside. over the internets because inside. I moved, and the new internet Clear. providers are not great. P3. So, okay, the next car is I mean, pro essentially it's provider. Inside. They have no competition out here, so Clear. I guess that means they don't Slow have to try very hard low. to make their car internet good. And uh, so I'm a little worried about that. Looks like it blinked for a second, and it might be okay now. But I'm going to have to look at that. So Warren and number one have decided they're piecing out. I hope I didn't run into the guy, run into anybody or anything, trying to figure out how to drive this thing. I think I'm holding my line okay up here. Just running the high line. But I am not very good at this, so... Not really using any brake unless I overdrive it into the corner. I need to make sure I'm not going anywhere I'm not supposed to. Using a, a big pull of the wheel to the left on entry, maybe a stab of the throttle to get it turned, and then letting it slide through. That seems to be working okay. Using tiny bits of throttle through mid corner to keep it pitched just the right amount. I have Warren goes and wins this thing. He's looking really fast. We've got some lap traffic in front of us. We've also got to navigate our way through that. I'm trying not to throttle it up too much. But I don't know if that's just Slow me using on speed Slow for no reason, or if uh, that'll be good for me the longer we go in this race. Definitely have to watch out, though. You can be very uh, aware out of the left side of my windshield as we've got lap traffic. Oh my goodness. That lap was that's exactly what I mean. Okay. Is now 1.3 seconds. Crane is now leading. Car outside. Yeah, it's Clear pretty outside. far off the pace, but they're doing a good job of holding their lines and staying predictable. So, many thanks to them. I think we've only got 11 people signed up for this single split, split event. A lot of people, just like me, just trying to learn how to drive this car out here because it's, it's pretty difficult. Really, really have to be easy on the throttle and for me I, I've noticed you really gotta at least do really big lift offs into the corner or else 
go sliding into the wall or worse. 4.4 up to Warren. I'm kind of hoping like maybe the tires for me will come into play. Maybe me being trying to be nice with my rear tires will help me out, but typically even when I try to save tire and not just full throttle all the time and dirt oval, it ends up that I'm actually still hitting the gas way too hard and I'm burning off my stuff worse than everybody. That's what I noticed in the K5 Championship whenever we were doing dirt late models. The pro late models, I guess it was. I would go out there and be like, all right, I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to be nice to my rear tires and kind of be smooth. Try to be fast long run, and then my tires would be worse than everybody's, even though I thought I did okay. So that's not... It's not too unlikely that that could happen to me here. I think maybe I can migrate down the track a little bit. I think maybe I'm going a little bit higher up than I need to. Uh oh, that lap time was 17. There's a time where I wanted to use the brake because I drove in too hard. What I was saying is I think maybe I want to try to go a little lower. Maybe there's more speed down here than I'm giving credit. I think there might be. I stepped up high. Looks like another lap car. We got a guy a second behind us, so we're not in the free and clear for our top three finish that we're looking for. Gotta keep going. I think there's a lot of speed down here on this lower line. Potentially. I might have been missing out. Less, no, less risk to go flying off the top. Sign me up. Why didn't I do this sooner? Getting uh, to like the mid 7s in the RPM, which is pretty much the rev limiter for this thing. I don't know if I should be doing that. Trying to gradually get there so I'm not just stomping on throttle. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yikes. We're okay. Leader's gonna lap us, and we're in third place. I see him on the relative. This is a pretty short track, to be fair, but that guy's got it figured out. As you would as the number one, I assume. I'm feeling okay, though. I've, got, I've gotten into a rhythm. We've got space around us, excluding the lap traffic. And it's allowing me to race the line that I want to. And so long as I'm easy on it, I feel like we can get ourselves a nice finish here. Just keep marching forward. Side by side, four position in front of us, though, so they're not going to want to lift out of this one. Could be tricky for me to get around this if I need to. The gap behind is now 1.3 seconds. I think they sorted it out. He looks like he's indicating he's going to go low. That lap was at 17.8. Car inside, clear. Car inside. around him. Clear. There's a little bit of brake. Make sure I'm not wrecking myself up top. Okay, that worked. As I suspected, I think this is a really good group of guys, even though it's single split. Everyone seems to be being smart, not just full throttling it or driving like crazy swerving everywhere because they can't control it. Seems like a lot of guys that really care to try to learn how to be smooth and everything, which is much appreciated. It seems like a good environment to learn. I was kind of worried uh, with some of the stuff you see on Dirt Oval sometimes we'd get in here and uh, guys would just be dumping everybody. But luckily, it does not seem to be the case. And we're over halfway finished with this thing, looking like we're going to have ourselves a good run. I'm glad it qualified. Because I think there were some messes, potentially, near the start. And, of course, no cautions here in a D-Class series, so... Not only do you have to avoid the wreck, 
you don't get to catch back up either. Even if you do, so. I don't see Warren anymore. He's probably not too far behind the leader, ready to lap me. You know, sometimes I hit a lap and I'm like, hey, that wasn't bad. I felt pretty good that lap, and then other times I'm like, I'm pretty sure I missed any semblance of the <laughs> line that I should be running. Let's see if we can stay on the lead lap. I'm not going to battle the lead or anything, but I'm going to try to hit good laps here and maybe prevent myself from going a lap down. That would be a pretty cool accomplishment, considering how close he is to me already. See him on the relative about four seconds back. That was a uh, 18.0. Yeah, Warren's only two seconds behind him. He might have something for him if uh, the leader has a mistake or maybe the four car behind us gets in his line a little bit or something. I hear that they're going to provide the option, at least on dirt, to adjust your steering ratio for this car. I know that's something people have asked for, especially people that have larger steering wheels, I think is how it works. So that way you have better response times. A lot of times Your lap time was when dirt racing, what guys like to do is put the steering ratio low so you can react better. That's I what I like to do a lot of the time. And uh, there is no steering ratio to be adjusted here in the SRX car. But I think uh, from what I've heard People talking in Nick's Discord and stuff, they are looking to allow you to change it, so that's cool. I'll probably do that when the option becomes available. Is it going to help me? Probably not. Probably not going to do anything for me. Maybe help me feel a little bit more stable. But I don't think I'm going to be much faster. I'm actually pretty happy with myself. Most dirt oil series, when I join the race, I'm just watching the pack drive away, so to be able to potentially get us, uh, get ourselves a nice finish here, it's kind of nice. Even it, even if it is a single split, I mean, P3 and an 11 car field's pretty darn good for me. I'm happy with that a lot. Even if I go lap down, which I'm still trying not to. That's our big race right now, trying to avoid going a lap down. It's two seconds back behind us, and like I said, if he does reach us, I'm going to make it easy for him, so... I'm trying to maintain the gap while I have it. Interesting that we uh, are able to be in third place, but the two top guys are lapping the field. Kind of funny how that works. Warren was asking me, like, before in practice, like, what's the trick to this? And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I told him, like, what I've been kind of feeling, but clearly I need to be asking him for tips. The leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. The leader is coming up on us. And I really wanted to stay in the lead lap, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's 1.3 back. 18.0. The gap behind has increased to 30 seconds. Maybe I could have been pushing harder on the throttle. Maybe I've been babying it too much. Okay, Let's go down low. Go. Go. Don't get caught up in something now. We're almost to the end of this thing. Go high. The gap in front is now 13 seconds. All right, Colton. One more to go. Keep I it together. We'll traffic in front of us, trying to get by. Car inside. 
Clear inside. Watch flag, watch flag. Is he close enough? I have to let him by back there. I mean, that was his last lap, right? Last lap, looking good for a podium. You've just done a. Is this race over? Zero. I don't know. Yes, it is. So, we stay on the lead lap. Hooray! I don't think I held him up. He obviously still got the win, so. Hey, P3, I'll take that every right, day of the week. Oh, shnikes. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Ooh. Great job. Okay. You did really well. All right. No idea what makes a fast lap. He's got a better idea than I do. Getting second place, qualifying in front of me. That was a great run, I felt like. Nearly lapping the field. We get P3, though. We get to stay on the lead lap. Some were fast, some were slow. No idea what made the difference, I assume what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. I was just being... I was... Probably being pretty consistent, I think. I was just consistently average or below average, and I think that helped me stay okay. Like, you could see 17, 8, 9, 96, 91, 96, 93. So he was gassing it up a little bit more. So I probably could have gotten away with gassing it up on accident more, and maybe that would have given me some more speed. Hmm. Could depend on just, you know, how the track is, too. Maybe we got a track that was more favorable to going for it, hitting that throttle pedal a little bit more. I'm sure you still can't step on it, but interesting. We'll see what happened out there. Fastest slap was real early in the race, which makes sense. So lap four, eleven getting turned or getting you know spinning out. I did that a ton of time in practice. That's why I was avoiding that real low line. Three pitches it a little bit too much. It looks like okay. That's one I was a little bit worried about because I know he was on my inside when that happened. I think we're okay though. Oh yeah, look at that. The winner of the race must have been driving in harder and driving out harder. So he was just being more aggressive overall, but keeping it balanced. Interesting. I mean, that's probably why he's the number one. He's able to do that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. So I'm learning. I'm trying to learn. Seems like uh, there's a way to do this. Oh man, the nine in the wrong place at the wrong time as the six goes around. And they're trying to get going. One moving his way around lapped traffic. Oh my goodness, he almost spins. He goes down and gets the ten. So it looks like he had to maybe stab the brakes to avoid the nine. Or maybe he just got two sideways and the ten kind of saved him. I think maybe if the ten's not there... Maybe he continues spinning. I don't know. It looked like he was about to correct it. But yeah, he gets a 2x from that. So, hey, at least uh, we had a 0x. That's cool. Just able to avoid anything going wrong. Lap 16 now. Don't think much is going on there. Just a wall hit, so skip ahead. Everything all right there. Is the six gonna hit the eight? No, maybe a tiny bit of the tire. Jumping all the way to lap 35 for a wall hit. I'm assuming it is happening again there. Oh, the four finds that tire. That's not 
That's no good. I think he might have lost some... a spot or two from that. Maybe not, he's still fourth. Near the end of this thing, Abe's getting sideways. He might have already been finished? No, I don't think so. I'm getting close enough to the end of the race that uh, guys not on the lead lap might be finishing up. Whether it says lap 50 or not. Warren must have had a great race because I don't feel like I even saw him hit the wall. This <laughs> six is driving down on the infield after it's over and uh, that's it. Alright, that was successful. I'm very happy with how that went. And uh, the little bit of internet worry I saw at the beginning of the race didn't uh, continue. Uh, hopefully that's the worst it ever gets. Is it's just every once in a while the L bar goes crazy and then it'll fix itself. Like you can see like the baseline internet connection is not as good as it used to be. Got a 99 quality right now, but I think that should be good enough to hang in there. So that will do it for this one. Oh wait, we got to see the results. That's right. We got to see what we gain out of this because it looks like we did gain some dirt oval rating and such, which is very welcome. There it is. So we are up to a 458 on our safety rating, which is a B license. I haven't raced enough higher than that to have an A license in dirt oval. And uh, I rating change 31 added, so I have a 2326 in that department. So. All right, I'm happy with that. Yeah, obviously not a huge strength of field or anything, single split, but I feel like I was consistent and I learned a lot and what more can you ask for? So, yeah, look at that. Their fastest lap times ahead of me were so much better. So I think maybe I, I could have driven a little bit harder. Maybe um, not have been so timid about heating up the tires and stuff and just a just gotten a little bit more speed. We weren't even led a lap, I think, after the, uh, the guy spawned. <laughs> so look at that, that's cool. And uh, we stay on the lead lap and uh, had a fun race. Fun, clean race. So hope you enjoy watching some SRX on the dirt. I had fun racing it, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.